on a story we first told you about last night, the one about a contractor allegedly peddling a phony construction business and in the process swindling thousands from people in multiple states. But he couldn't fool an Iowa couple who were about to hand over a pretty big check. KCCI's Ryan Smith has this story from Jasper County. Mike and Lisa Rivas were in the final planning stages of building a detached garage and woodshed here on their property just south of Newton. They hired a contractor, but that's when things just didn't add up. The dirt has been moved and the markers are in place, all in preparation for a new detached garage. The Rivas has hired Ed Cross of Cross Construction. According to the contract, Cross wanted $21,000 for the job, seven grand due at the end of the first day. Him coming in with a low bid, you know, kind of raised a couple eyebrows. But before handing over a big check, the couple went online to do a background check and made a startling discovery. When you see wanted like this and felony charges, it's, it's definitely time to get the guy off the street. My first thought was maybe he could be violent, maybe he could have a gun in the vehicle. Ed Armstrong was operating under an alias in Jasper County. The Revis has connected the man known as Cross to his criminal past, duping dozens of homeowners in a scam that spanned five states. A new place, a new name. We called the deputies right back and we said we have a wanted felon on our property and you guys need to get here. And, and help us out. And we actually looked out the window at that point and he was gone. The sheriff arrested Armstrong the morning he was scheduled to start work on the Revis's project. If we would have handed him that check, I definitely would have felt like he violated, you know, us. Like. Now, local law enforcement are thankful the Revis's did their due diligence. It was really a collaborative effort, and I'm just very thankful that everyone was able to work together and we were able to get this guy off the streets. For now, Armstrong does not face any criminal charges here in Jasper County. That is unless a local victim comes forward with their own story of fraud. In that case, the Jasper County Sheriff's Office would like you to contact them with any information. Reporting just south of Newton, Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. In all, Armstrong was wanted on 17 warrants, nine of which showed up nationwide, showed nationwide pickup.